Well, if you listen to the show and if you've been paying attention, you know that uh, I've got a little custom on Fridays at uh, noon. I always play a different version of, of the same tune. And I've been doing that for a few years, and over the years, whenever I, I get to meet someone who uh, listens to the station, uh, often they will ask me, why do you play that tune? Is there something in your past? And I've heard all kinds of speculation uh, about why I like that tune. And many, many of those speculations involve a, a woman in my past. And I've never, I've always kind of smiled and, you know, gotten out of talking about it. Uh, but after all these years uh, of, of keeping silent, I, I think it's, it's time for some closure at, at last. <laughs> I, think, I think we need the, the healing to begin. With. So I'm going to divulge uh, the secret to you, but uh, I would appreciate it if you just keep it to yourselves. And... 1985 was not a banner year for me in my financial situation. Um, at that time, I was uh, driving a 1961 VW bus and uh, had stayed a little bit too long at the fair and was still a long-haired, bushy-bearded, hippie freak. <laughs> Which may have been the reason why I could not find employment in my chosen profession of loan officer at a major lending institution. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm, I'm buzzing down the highway in, in the bus one day. It was a Friday, right around noon. And uh, in the rearview mirror, uh, I saw the, the flashing lights and, uh, and pulled over. Well, actually, I didn't have to pull over. I was already on the shoulder. <laughs> and uh, the, the officer approached me, came to the window, and uh, started citing me, you know, for... Uh, you know, excess emissions, tail light out, uh, 20 miles under the speed limit. I don't know, the free Huey sticker may have had something to do with it too. But this uh, trooper was a woman, and a, and a very attractive one at that. And uh, there was just something about the way she asked for my license and registration, and then asked me to take it out of the wallet. That, I don't know, I thought there was, there was a little something there. But the thing of it was, I was... Hope Springs Eternal, you know, that, that and the, the, the creak of the leather on her gun belt did something to me. But uh, I could not, the thing of it was I, was, I was broke. I mean, that's why I was driving this car, and uh, I could not afford to pay for a ticket. So, I don't know what came into my head, but I thought, in desperation, maybe I can get out of this ticket, and I, I offered sex. You know, I explained, I got the futon right in the back, you know. So, anyway, the next morning when they were returning my possessions to me, <laughs> I noticed the sheet that had name of arresting officer, and her, her last name was Kropotkin, and her first name was Janine.